Hello there, everyone. How are you doing tonight? My name is Melissa Armo, and I own my own company called The Stock Swoosh. And tonight's lesson is going to be you get what you pay for. I had a great discussion in the trading room this morning that I thought I would share with everyone, and it's exactly what I just said. You get what you pay for most of the time. What does that mean? Let's just say you go and you buy clothes. I'm going to use clothing as an example because I love clothes. I love fashion. I love, you know, earrings, shoes, all of it. And there are times when you go and you buy something that doesn't cost a lot, that's clothing. And you like it and you buy it and it's great and it's fashionable, whatever. And you wash it a couple times and then it's crap. You can't wear it anymore. It, it actually completely wears away in the washes. It's done. It didn't cost you that much, but it didn't last. Then there's times you can go and buy designer dresses, beautiful, fabulous, amazing dresses. It costs a lot of money. Real fabrics, wool, 100% wool, 100% silk, these gorgeous clothes, and they cost a lot. The designer, they last forever. Timeless designs, fabrics, great. You can get them dry, clean, clean a million times. Everything's fine. They last. Every once in a while, though, you will buy something in life that costs up, meaning that it, it costs more than you would think that it would, knowing that you could buy something cheaper, like the cheaper clothes, okay? But you pay more, expecting the quality, and then you wash it a couple times, you wear it a couple times, it doesn't last. And you say, gosh darn it, I knew I paid too much for that thing. I should have never paid that for that thing. <clears throat> and you say that to yourself. And it might have been designer. The long and short of it is that occasionally that is true. And sometimes that can happen. What do I mean? It means that sometimes you will pay a lot of money for something that's not worth it. Sometimes you will. It could be clothing. It could be a stock position, a trade that you pay a lot of money for that's not worth it in the risk to reward. And sometimes it's also in an educational class for trading. You could pay a lot of money for something and then not get your money's worth out of it. But what here's the point I'm trying to make. Sometimes it's not all the times. In general, I've found in life and my experience in life, whether it's food, shoes, clothing, trading, positions, <laughs> or educational classes, I have found in my life that for the most part, you do get what you pay for it. You can't let a couple bad apples or bad experiences taint your whole entire outlook of paying for expensive products, services, or things that you want in life. For the most part, when you do buy expensive things, they really usually are worth it. There are some times that they're not, but for the most part, they are. When you don't pay a lot for something, you can't possibly expect a lot out of it. When I go, and I'm not going to name any certain stores, although I did discuss this in the trading room this morning, when I go and buy certain clothes or workout clothes or bathing suits or things, I 100% I know, you know, with the price being so cheap, that I'm, they're not going to last. They'll last a month, and then I'll have to buy another one and another one and another one. And I also know with the quality of certain dresses that I buy for television to be on TV or designer dresses, I know what ones are the quality they're going to last. So... And I know they're going to last forever. So therefore, the investment, the cost, the cost to pay up is worth it because in the long run, it's really cheaper because I don't have to buy five dresses to last me the time that one dress will last forever. So at the end of the day, most of the time, I'm telling you, it does pay to pay for an expensive service, quality, product, food, jewelry, clothing, trading class, stock position, all right? Because most of the stocks that are strong do cost more money than stocks that are weak. Like penny stocks. People want to do all these penny stocks. They're crap. Crap, 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 crap. Crap. Okay. So the bottom line is most of the time you get what you pay for. Not all of the time. Not every time. But most of the time. And therefore you have to take that into consideration. And you can't decide you're never going to take a trading class, buy a high expensive option, buy an expensive stock, buy an expensive dress, just because you had one bad experience with something, all right? 
So it's a good lesson tonight. If you have any questions, email me at melissa at thestockswish.com and have a great night, everyone.